I'm being sent out. So can you talk about briefly just what does it look like to properly be sent as an apostle? Okay, to be sent out as an apostle, it, it looks like you've been submitted to a local church. Okay, before you can be an apostle to the, to the nations, you must first of all be a servant to a local church. <laughs> and then, then once you're submitted to a local church, you're a servant to a local church, the congregation recognizes your gift. The pastor and the elders and the Bible ministry within that ecclesia, they recognize your gift, and then they begin to elevate you. It's what we call hands-on training. First, there is a hands-on that represents, uh, there's importation that represents confirmation. So you might have tribal prophets, itinerant prophets that will come to your local church, and they will discern the gift on your life. And they might say, you're called to be an apostle, you're called to be a prophet. That is only a man, the hands on, the laid land on the hands that represents confirmation. You have been confirmed, but it, it does not mean that you're ready to be released. So if the confirmation comes and you keep on serving the prophetic presbytery, which is the elders in the local church, they recognize that you are maturing, you are becoming loyal, you are faithful, you are a sacrificial giver, your character is intact, your domestic side is intact. They look at how you handle yourself, how you handle your family, how you handle the sheep that you're called to submit to, uh, that you're called to serve, because you must smell like a sheep before you become a shepherd, okay? So once they recognize all of that, they give you the land on the hands that represents an, an endorsement, okay? So they validate your gift, okay? That's the that's, man that's in land on the hands that represents motivation. They validate your gift, and you keep on maturing, you keep on growing, all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit gives the unction to the leaders of this congregation to endorse you to start your ministry. So first of all, you see a land on the hands that represents confirmation. You've been confirmed. That, that, that is an that is a impartation to give you a glimpse of your call. Okay, this is what you're called to do. And outside prophets can do that as well. They can confirm that gift on you. But then you keep on serving, you keep on developing yourself. Then the prophetic presbytery, which is the elders who represent the Bible ministry in that church, they validate, okay, this is what you are really called to do. Because they've been seeing the absolute grace They've been seeing the prophetic grace in your life, so they validate it because we see it clearly. Even the congregation will see it clearly because you have the grace to back up what you are saying that you are called to be. And then, for after that season, there's a land on the hands that represents endorsement. We can endorse your ministry. This church can back you up. So when you receive the land on the hands that represents, that represents endorsement, that means that you're, 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 you're ready to move into your big ministry. Just like in Acts 13. Uh, before Paul and Barnabas was endorsed, there was just teachers and prophets in the church of Antioch. And they had to do a, a certain mission because the church of Antioch, they released Paul and Barnabas to first make sure orphans were given to the cycles of all the churches around Jerusalem. And the Bible said they returned back and they completed that ministry. And they stayed in Antioch for a couple of years. And that's when the Holy Spirit says, release for me Paul and Barnabas for the work that I sent them. That was the land over hands that represented endorsement. Okay, so in Acts 9, Paul received an endorse he received confirmation by Ananias that God had a word for him. Okay? In Acts 11, Paul received the land of hands and said, okay, it's time for you to ship in ministry because the apostles gave him the right hand of fellowship. And that's validation. And then Acts 13, he was endorsed. He was released for his ministry. And they started their ministry. So that's that's what we should see. But what we're seeing today is that everybody's skipping confirmation. They're, they're skipping validation in a local church. And they're just going out there with endorsement. They're confusing confirmation with endorsement. So when you go to a conference and a prophet lays hands on you, or some special celebrity preacher tells you that you're an apostle or a prophet, that's confirmation. That, 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 that doesn't mean endorsement. Yeah. It means that you, you just been confirmed that God has his hand on you. 